Sometimes crop dusting happens. The champion in control. Right. <laughs> never. Dang it. I didn't fart. Count out that challenger. Jerk. Sport. He is not one half of the World Tag Team Champions for nothing. Because <laughs> Denver is up to your old schemes. <laughs> yeah. She is a weirdo. You're a weirdo too. I know. Two counts. Look at you. That was my whole point, you ding ding. Hey. Oh, God. Damn, it is after 10 o'clock. Yeah. Let's do this. Is it recording? Yep. <coughs> Camera's only big enough to get two of us, but they'll hear you. Denver, what knock it off. They're going to hear her too. Again, the last time a ball was here. Well, shall we toast to this episode? <laughs> okay. I'm not taking much of that. It's full. I don't want to spill it. To this new episode of the Team Gotta Go Wrestling Podcast. Yep. Woo! Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. The TDT out of nowhere by Mark Sanford. <laughs> Welcome! You've got mail. Ding, <laughs> ding. This is a live, in person. Mm. Episode of the Team Galva <laughs> Wrestling Podcast. It is. Live and in person. Live and in front of you. I'm Blitz Ball <coughs> Champ. I'm Hollywood Cinema, y'all. And then the background, we have a uh, beautiful nightmare. Hey. Ow. Uh, and a cat running all over the place. Denver. Yeah, Denver, chill out. <laughs> Denver, ah, ah. No. No better girl. Messing with the camera stands. Can't help herself. She's inside. So <coughs> we got a we got a good bit to discuss tonight. Yeah. Okay. So this coming week will be the the go home for fast lane. <coughs> Pay per view where Vince is ruined what people want. So. Just to kind of get into to things. So, there's a lot of buildup uh, over this past week and a few things that got announced. So, for one, Kofi Kingston is no longer getting his WWE Championship title shot against the Daniel Bryan, the new Daniel Bryan. As he was getting ready to sign the championship contract for this match at Fastlane, out comes Vince McMahon, ruins it all, takes him out, replaces him with the returning Kevin Owens. So messed up. <clears throat> Not only that, they actually have a tag team match together. They teamed up. Kofi and, and KO teamed up to take on the new Daniel Bryan and Rowan. And even though they won, what a stunner. Even though he does still use the pop up power bomb. But, like, overall, what did you think about that, just that whole sequence? Uh, well, I'm hoping it leads to Kofi versus Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania. But, in case it doesn't, I hate it. That's really the big thing that we can hope for as a last-ditch effort, is that he gets moved to WrestleMania. His match goes on WrestleMania, because... We all know Kofi Kingston's been in the business. 12, 12 years? Yeah. 11, yeah, 11. Things yeah, 11. <coughs> I'm thinking that they're going to set it up to have Kevin Owens beat Daniel Bryan, and then he's going to be fighting Kofi at WrestleMania. Interesting. Have KO win the title. Because, yeah, they could easily set that up because Kofi's gonna be a little bit salty. You know, hey, you took you took my shit, so now I'm coming back for my title. I want my title shot. I can dig that. Yeah. I mean, with KO back, I mean, into the mix of things. 
<laughs> messing with stuff. Yeah, it only makes me wonder, like, really, <clears throat> how hard they're gonna go with this, considering he was handpicked by that's right. man. Yes. Could be good or could be bad. We will see. We will we see will in a week. Very soon. Yeah. Um, and we at least know that Asuka as a challenger for fast lane yeah, for the women's title. Freaking Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose. And I hope it's a squash match. I hope she gets her head kicked off. Yeah. Asuka needs a win. She has not, yeah. <coughs> she needs Get her back on TV more. Yeah, She's the she champ. Been on, and she needs to get on. Yeah, no, truth. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe they should fight each other. <laughs> so you still don't believe our truth will have a match at Fast Lane? No, but apparently there's reports that the U.S. Championship is about to be uh, featured more because they recognize that it's not being featured. I'm oh, like, now I'm like, you guys always that. say that, and then you don't. So I'll believe when I see it. Yeah. It is likely not to. Did you see him use? I wouldn't bank on it. I would not bet money at all. Um. Let's see what else kind of went on. So. <clears throat> we've been noticing, and I and I know a lot of people, you know, especially between Raw and SmackDown, that there is a big, big Twitter war going back and forth between the Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey and the man Becky Lynch. Yeah. Some of the shots seem personal. They got very personal, and Ronda didn't seem to be uh, interested in playing along anymore. You know? I mean, it's good heat. Yeah, no, I mean, it only helps to the match. Just they, they actively hate each other because they actually hurt each other. Yeah, which, I mean, I feel like that's kind of the idea that they were going for. Yeah. <clears throat> but, I mean... Right now, the only thing we know is that uh, Charlotte is going to get the title match against Ronda at WrestleMania, not, not Becky Lynch. But, yeah, I mean, we still believe that that's going to get turned into a triple threat. It's just a matter of time before they put the finishing touches and transition that into the picture. Yeah. Um, Drew McIntyre's been get, racking up some wins, but it really hasn't been transitioning into anything worthwhile as far as towards a universal title shot. Well, no, because uh, he was there to get Superman punched and well, speared by uh, Roman. Which, uh, <coughs> very, very thankful and happy that Roman Reigns is in remission, y'all, from leukemia. So, I mean, remission, y'all. Good stuff, good stuff. Welcome back. <coughs> so now the fans will actually cheer you. It's yes. Nice. There was a different reaction for sure. So much. So it'll be interesting to see how, you know, he gets worked up now that he's back. I feel like he's going to have him have, like he's going to have like probably a shield match since none of them have anything to do. And they can kind of protect him that way. And he can face off against Baron Corbin and his and they're going to make him a good guy because they're all going to get back together. Yeah, Dean Ambrose will be good again. Yeah. yeah. So that all of them are going to be good and, yeah. and they'll try to take off all the heels. The shield, they'll get their shield run if they want to. Yeah. Because it doesn't look like Dean Ambrose is going anywhere. But, but you know what? I mean... I felt like that was what they were going for. It was just only a matter of time before Roman Reigns came back so yeah. that they could do that. For yeah. sure. Absolutely. Glad he's well. Um, we know that Nia and Tamina will get a shot at the tag team, women's tag team titles of the Boss Hope Connection. Well, 
Yeah, they probably will lose. Um, it's interesting because they also made their appearance on NXT. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, hey, who's going to step up? Who's going to step up to challenge the tag team champs? Because at the end of the day, they're going to be defending them across all the brands. So, because of that, I'm really, really, really hoping that the Sky Pirates will eventually get their title shot, and then they will have another live show in North Carolina. Yes. And I will see them, and then I will have to make two signs. Yes, you will. Two signs. And side by side with Io Shirai and Kyrie Sane. Perfect picture. Just put you know what everybody's. I, mean? I, I know what you mean. Everybody's made everybody's. Wouldn't you approve of that, Denver? She said, yes, I, I would. She but, even um, opened her mouth, yeah. It's kind of smart. But, like, I don't know, man. Like, we're on SmackDown this week. We're just really kind of bland. Yeah, they, they were just felt like set up episodes, really. But I'm expecting, I'm expecting a few things to happen. Like, one, of course, Mandy, Rose, and Asuka having another face-off of some sort in the go-home uh, episode of SmackDown. <clears throat> Next up, of course, more and more back and forth involving Ronda Rousey and Becky Lynch. Um, the Intercontinental title picture seems, I mean, now seems kind of unknown. Yeah. Because, ow. Um, yeah, that, that little that's cat. Simber. <laughs> cat in the camera. Okay. But I mean, you got Roman Reigns back. Mm-hmm. Intercontinental title picture. Which, going back to the whole Lashley, Leo Rush, they, that needs to just end. I thought it was going to end uh, the last pay per view, but it decided to go on. Then he got yelled at again. It kind of makes we are worthless. Because I mean, ever since Leo Rush debuted, he's used to you know, used to being seen as the cocky one. You know what I mean? But now that that happened and Bobby Lashley lost the title, slammed him. Very short. He's like a little punk now. Yeah, he definitely is. But I always viewed him as such. I guess so. Oh, another thing. So I finally came to my senses, and if Rob Rob Potsy Potchek ever sees this, okay, I submit. Alexa Bliss does look pretty hot. There, I said it. I said it. (laughs) And because you said it, the TV. So, you're, are you no longer mad at me? Yeah, I used to be like, what are you talking about? Like, he, he's always talking about that uh, weird old Asian lady. I'd be like, what are you talking about? Don't Which you one? even go there. The one from May Young Classic? No, she wasn't even that. Oh. So she looked, she looked older than her. Don't. Hey, you oh, leave Sumi Sakai alone. She looked like some, she, you seen the movie Mask, right? You leave the movie there, Mask, no. the movie Mask with no. the giant head, not Jim Carrey, but the one, the, the kid. You are a savage. You had like the elephantitis disease, like no, elephant man. I don't think I've seen That's that. That's what before. she looks like. She had a, she had a you head that was You are scary. a so savage. Much. I'm just saying. Just saying, man. She looks uh, super special for you. <laughs> you about to get a special invitation I mean, to a I certain mean, you party. Could, you could definitely, she could, <coughs> she could host a worldwide 
a super kick party with that jaw. That's how big it was. That's how big that jaw is. Just. I gotta. Now I have to find out. How do you spell this name? Well, okay, look up the movie Mass. Just type in. No, movie, you need, just type see in who she looks no. like first. You should look at the picture first because that will do much better because you will see it instantly. You're a jerk. I'm not. I'm telling the truth. No, yeah, that, that ain't, ain't the truth. truth. You know it, too. That ain't the truth. Side by side picture. You won't be able to tell. Except With Cher? Yeah. What? That, that kid? How have I not seen this? I don't know how either. It's depressing as shit. It's right up your alley. Just to let everyone know, oh, yeah. I just saw Cher in concert about a month ago. Yeah, she did Cher. 14th row. Oh, I was bathing in the same air as her. It was fucking amazing. You I, can, I can share this cat purring. Yeah, oh, yeah, she up. is a engine. She's a loud purr. A loud uh, purry. Let's see here. Okay, okay. This is what you're talking about? Yes. Okay. Now look up. She does not look. She like does that. not look up the what's the lady's name? I don't Sumi know. Sakai. Sumi Sakai. <coughs> what you purring for? Sakai. I think I spelled it right, but it'll probably. Man. She purred Babe. loud. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I can see it a little bit. No! Yeah, yeah. No! Yeah, it is weird, man. That's what, no. her, that's what her face reminds me of. Honestly, time. are you sure it's not a man? Oh my goodness. Really? <laughs> really? I mean, Y'all both are savages. Look. Y'all yeah, both are savages. That's, listen, I, I'm not a savage. I love drag queens. Love them. Love them. I go to Legends all the time. That ain't no drag. Sumi Sakai ain't no drag queen. Like, she looks... Very She's drag a ray of me. sunshine from Jersey Shore, Japan. I mean, Oof. that's great. That is wonderful. She's cute. That's, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe you'll like drag queens too. Hi, Denver. <laughs> Hi, Denver. Charles likes drag queens. You're almost oh. as bad as Prince. <laughs> you remember uh, one of my I, old I, bosses. I didn't, I didn't work with him, but I remember oh. hearing about him. He, he would tell me that he thought Gail Kim looked like a shim. <laughs> <laughs> Shim shim sure. shimmy. I mean, no. I don't, I don't, no. No. You don't agree with I got that. No comment. Yeah, so keep it that way. What do you say? Um, Amber, nobody wants to rub you up. Another video package for Nina Sanders. Yes. Next to UK. Even though it's been a while since she's had another match. Yes. You see the spoiler image I sent you? Nope. For NXT UK? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, like, you know, that tag team championship match, you ta uh, UK tag team championship match? Yes. That was a really, really solid. But we shouldn't be that. Yeah. Young grizzled uh, veterans and uh, what's their names? Uh, Lochran and uh, Oni Larkin and uh, Danny Birch. Yeah. Which they still don't even have a tag team name. They do not, but their last names and names are so weird that it kind of. Kind of does it all. But it just makes me wonder when are they going to finally do something with them? Nah, finally win the tag titles. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. That was not tough. I feel like if Mustache Mountain can win the tag titles for a short while, so could they. Yeah. You know? <coughs> also, NXT is building up the upcoming Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. So we already got a couple... We pretty much have all the teams announced. Uh... Forgotten Sons, Oni Larkin, Danny Birch, Street Profits, Undisputed Era, DIY, DIY. Uh, oh, Fabian Eichner and Marcel Barthel, Barthel, uh, Ricochet and Alistair Black. I don't know. Are they? I think so. Uh, 
now, but they're a new tag team at the end of the set. And then, so we got that form. What's the other one? Uh, the, 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 is it? Did I say a whole one? I know I'm forgetting one. I feel like I'm forgetting one. I did not count it, but <coughs> the winner of the tournament will not only win the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic. The heck? Um, cup, but also, but also, um, tag team title shot against the current champions, the War Raiders. What? Which we haven't really seen no. in action since they won the tag titles. Mm. <laughs> I don't think they've had a match. Yeah. They've been part of one promo, but that's it. Yeah. Shanna, Shanna Baszler jacked me a yum up, unfortunately. And we know now that uh, Io Shirai and, Sh and uh, Bianca Belair will have a number one contenders match for the uh, NXT Women's Championship. They had a backstage moment where they were arguing back and forth, and Io was, was yelling at Japanese, some of that dialogue. Yeah. I thought, thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, it was very, yeah. I, I'm not sure what they're doing to you. But Bianca needs to stop saying that she's undefeated, because she's not undefeated anymore. It's like, dang. <clears throat> Oscar doesn't mention her, mention her undefeated streak anymore because she ain't undefeated. And that shit, did, that shit went away as soon as she was wasn't undefeated. Yeah. <clears throat> you can learn from that, Miss Belair. Yeah. But. And then, of course. Oh, on a side note, uh, Karen Q made her NXT Live house show debut. Um, big fan of Karen Q, so hopefully she will do well in NXT. Um, <laughs> 205 Live. We had the start of the Cruiserweight Tournament, where the winner will, or the two finalists will or excuse me, the winner will face Buddy Murphy, I believe, at WrestleMania. Yes, it's for WrestleMania, like for the other one. Yeah, Buddy Murphy has been a great champion so far. The Juggernauts. <coughs> so we've already seen two of the two of the for opening matches. Tony Dees defeats Kalisto, and uh, Drew Gulak defeated the Bride Kendrick. Yeah, I would lose probably that second. What do you think about this whole angle with Humberto Carrillo uh, along with Jim and Jack Gallagher and Drew Hill? Do so I have to be a, like, just separate them? It just it just really looks dumb without him showing any signs of going to It looks really dumb. Yeah. And that would be helping But you know what? What? It's still early in that. I mean, being that they just started actually communicating with him. Yeah. But he's not really saying anything, so. It's just, it's dumb. Dumb. So dumb. Um. What am I missing? Uh. Anything off the top of your head? <coughs> no. Oh, so Eddie Dennis did a little promo on NXT UK, which I guess he's out for a bit, but we'll be back. Yeah, I'm hoping some kind of circus. Definitely haven't been the same since losing the <laughs> Dave Mastiff. For a third time. Yeah, have a little too. But you could just use that. No. For, uh, 
just physically dominated. And then winner, I guess. <coughs> what is Pete Dunne finally supposed to defend the bell again? They don't. Oh, it's the UK Brock Lesnar. Sad. It's more than sad. But, um. But yeah, like I said, Raw, like, not really much going with that. <coughs> oh! <coughs> Batista. Yes, he was a Batista attacked Ric Flair, which was supposed to be his 70th birthday celebration, dragged him out of his locker room, and it's like, Hunter, now do I have your attention? Yeah. So I can only imagine that this upcoming episode of SmackDown will address that in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. yeah. He can't, he can't get back on Raw without doing it. Otherwise, it makes no sense. And it sounds like potentially a build up to a WrestleMania match between Triple H and T <coughs> Sip. It's switched. That would be good. A good match. It would be, but the line would be switched. Triple H is a good guy, but he says the bad guy. But Triple H has never beaten Batista. So, I mean. This will be interesting to see if this is where Triple H finally beats Batista. I'm thinking probably, but you never know. Because this has been so long. It makes sense. It just feels weird. But that was the big way that they closed SmackDown. But right now, again, just continuing to be physically... But yeah, I really, I feel like a lot of stuff, a lot of critical stuff happened more on SmackDown being the replacement with Kevin Owens yes. and Ric Flair, you know, it just, and even just the build up to the card, um, for Fastlane. I mean, you know, I don't know, I was, I was more into Raw, for sure, because it was just a lot going on there, too, so. I feel like they still have to kind of scramble in this last week because there's only four matches on that fast lane card. That's it. Yeah. Like, They're going to have to figure that shit out. And, you know, they usually do a pre show, but if it's four matches, yeah. I mean, they're going to have to have to scramble during this go home week. They, they got to do a lot of stuff. I mean, at least with NXT, they can take their time because TakeOver yeah. isn't until uh, WrestleMania weekend. Yeah. So. They have a lot to build up to, especially. Got to have another challenger for the NXT championship. Yeah. And then um, Johnny Gargano's North American championship. But I mean, there's time. There's yeah. still plenty of time with NXT, but with Fastlane around the corner, because so far for Fastlane, we have the WWE title match, we got the women's tag team title match, we got the SmackDown Women's Championship match, and we have the uh, SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Jeez, not even the, the two mid-card titles. WWE, y'all better get the work. Shoot. We'll see if they can fix this thing. But they're going to have to throw a bunch of crap onto this show if they're going to have anything else. Well, there's definitely going to be like that six man. It's definitely happening. Yeah. Six man? <laughs> Shield versus uh, somebody. Oh, you think that Baron or if or if not eight man because you had uh, Braun to it because he would want some of Baron too. That would be so weird considering the Baron. Shield had triple power bomb Braun Strowman. Yeah, <laughs> but it would take into account like the last interaction. Remember like the first person Roman saw, not one of the first, but he saw like 
remember Braun gave him like the whole message very soon after. True. That's like they're and they're both faces now, so you don't really need to have Braun go heel. But who knows? It might. I need Braun Strowman to win something. He has been, they've been fucking him over. I'm at the point where I'm about to give up hope. <clears throat> because it should have been done happen by now. You know it should have happened by now. Yeah, no, very true. Or Braun. But I mean, other than that, they just really need to get busy on, on really finalizing some stuff with this fast lane that's upcoming. And I'm sure there'll probably be more Kevin Owens and Aleister Black and Ricochet have been crazy busy on all these on the main yeah. shows. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I think ever since they were brought in. Yep. They've, they've had a match. They've been on every fucking yeah. show. Like. They're not even on, they're on both shows. Yeah. Like for, like what, the last, what, two, three weeks now? They've been really busy. So, I mean. I don't know how much I am for this tag team. Because it just, it just doesn't seem. It seems kind of weird on paper. Yeah, no, it's an Alistair Black. It doesn't make a lot of sense other than the fact that both issues with Alex Brandy more in the yeah. shows no yeah. respect whatsoever. It just makes me wonder like if they're completely done and out of the title picture because that really means that somebody's gonna somebody new is gonna have to be built up to go after Chapa's title. And you know, with the Velveteen Dream as well for American Champion, which I don't really know why. Well, I kind of know why they're building uh, Adam Cole towards that because it's face versus heel. But I guess really the only other person would have to be Matt Riddle. I mean, bro, bro, bro. Because there's really nobody else that's hot. Yeah. And it would be too early for Keith Lee to get that shot. So. Even though I, I like him a lot, too. Oh, yes. And we will all bask in his glory. And we have. Front row. Oh. Oh. Yes, we have. Goodness gracious. That was an incredible match. It was. Really good. But, um... And then the Undisputed Era will be up to their usual usual games. But but I'm just really hoping that Bianca Belair <coughs> will win the title from Shayna and Shayna can move on to the main roster. And at some point, her uh, her army of Jessica Duke and Marita Shafir has got to start winning some matches. They haven't won a single match. <laughs> Yet. I mean, I know they haven't been on the NXT TV that much, but dang. Like, they've had at least three matches and they've lost all three. Dakota Kai and EO beat them. EO and Kyrie beat them. The uh, six man with EO, Kyrie, and Bianca beat them. They might be in Oh, what, uh, Jessamine and Mer? Why? They can't win a, they can't win a match. They're sloppy. They can't do it. <laughs> no, no, I disagree with that. That's too early. That is too early. They need to prove themselves. <laughs> they haven't proven themselves. And prove shit. <laughs> Wait, they, they, they get considered calling up before the sky? They did that. Heck out of here. I mean, but they would be back in the uh, round of... True. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they might as well just go ahead and move all three of them then. You don't just move... Yeah, don't just move two of them and not Shayna. 
That'd be dumb. That'd be really dumb. But, yeah, like, that whole, that whole situation is weird. Yeah. That's about as weird as Aaliyah teaming up with Vanessa Bourne now. <laughs> They're a legit team. And uh, that only means that they will be considered for future competition against Bailey and Sasha Banks. Boss and Hug connection. Boss and Hug. The question is, does she want to win or does she want to teach Allie Rex a lesson? She would like to do both if the opportunity presents itself. I am not. <laughs> I slept through a part of it. Most of them. Not nah, most of them. You're going to edit this, right? All the recap stuff, it will be. Uh, it'll be a week. It will be a week. It will be a week. I did not slip through the whole thing. <laughs> Last part, yes. I dozed off for sure. It's okay. You're going to edit it. And I know. See. And you'll see. Yeah. I see that I was away from most of it. <laughs> what do you what do you what else you have to say? I got nothing. <laughs> no, I don't. You better feed that content. I can't, I got nothing. My stomach says oh, I'm gonna ex not, it's not gonna be fed, but it's gonna exit something. <laughs> You better hold that. I'm holding it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> <laughs> what? Live from New York. It's Saturday night. Wouldn't even know what it would be. I didn't fart. All right, if I you're gonna do fart. it, if you're I'm gonna do gonna it, just fart. do it. If I'm you're gonna do it, just do fart. it. He said, just do it. Man. No, just that's why like he's getting it. ready for it. Finish the outro. If you're gonna do it, just do it. Finish the outro. <laughs> I don't have to do it anymore. What? You sucked it back up in? It went back in with its own accord. I can't. I don't have control over that. <laughs> you're a nasty freak. You know that. <laughs> it's human nature. No, Your body, everybody's human, body does it. Human don't know about the nature that be coming out of you. Anyway, whatever. On that note, we're we're gonna cut it off here, but do look forward to our go home episode next week, and we'll do our fast lane with predictions, fast lane. which might end up being very quick unless they put some more matches on the card instead of four. So they gotta add like two more matches at least. Nah, three more. Are they gonna make seven? Need they need to make three more. At least three more. Three more. They're gonna make one per show. Shoot. Is Fastlane an all event? Or? Yes. All bread. Well, oh, I'm not farting. Oh, I thought you were about to do it. No. You try to be sneaky with it. I was not. Try to be scratchy with it. on my back, man. What are you talking about? Alrighty. So, we're going to end it here, and Hollywood is going to fart out. Probably at some point, yes. This has been Hollywood Cinema, Blitzball Champ, and Beautiful Nightmare. Yeah! Always so. Nice and cute. So special. <laughs> Come on, wife, cute. <laughs> I am fucking cute. I know, we don't need to say it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this very unusually wacky episode of the Team Galgo Wrestling Podcast. Mm -hmm. We will see y'all next week. See you next week. Time to go to bed. Yeah, it is. Just let it out. No, I didn't. Honestly, Bob, I did not fart. No fart from me. That's weird. She's a heel on this. But she was on ROH. That was the one I was talking about that was uh, Jay Weepo uh, tagged with the red haired uh, lady. I forget her really? name. Mm -hmm. Brandy Lord. She wears different tights. She wears like. But here she's a heel. Interesting. Pretty much. Here at the I look crazy.
Oh, this has sequins on it. Yeah. Yeah. They changed Yo. Yo. You ain't tell me you have a pillow like this. I didn't think to tell you because it seems like a weird thing to bring yes. up. I got it for Christmas. It's like a weird thing to bring up. It is pretty cool. Just don't put your head on it because it ain't the most comfy. We made it. We made it.